question reads, you're calling for an absolute cancelization of evictions, foreclosures, and even rent for the unemployed. Are these achievable demands under the current capitalist system? And if they are, isn't that socialism or some kind of socialism? It could be for uh, anybody who would like to pick it up. Sure. I, I say something really briefly. Thank you for the question. I mean, I think, you know, I think there's two questions there. I think there's a technical question. Is it possible? I think there's another question, which is like, are, will they do it? Right. Like from a technical perspective? Um, yes, obviously they could do this. And I think as I was laying out, um, they come up with all sorts of ways to give money to all sorts of institutions. Um, so it's really just a matter of determining this is what you want to do. You want to cancel all the payments that people have going out because it's an economic crisis and whatever has to get covered has to get covered. They're covering all sorts of other ridiculous things. But be that as it may, I think the fact that, uh, you know, it might not happen speaks to a broader issue, which is a political issue. And I think that that is what socialism is really about. I mean, the issue of capitalism is that it is a dictatorship of the rich that's run by a small amount of people. So if occasionally they're able to give a lot of money to some cause to hold the line on the system, that's not really socialism. Now, it certainly speaks to aspects of why socialism is the best system and is you know, so appealing to so many people because it exposes how the typical capitalist methods have been ineffective in the most critical of situations here, a global pandemic where all human life is at risk or climate change where the history, the, the you know, future of humanity is at risk um, <clears throat> that, uh, you know, exposes capitalism in that way. But I think that socialism is replacing the political leadership of these appointees, these are the, you know, the so-called elected officials, the political appointees of the richest individuals who control this system and replacing that with the political rule of everyday working class, poor, average people. So that, you know, it's not just when there's a huge crisis that they say, oh, we better expand unemployment benefits and increase the amount of money in SNAP. But that all the time, the most basic values of society are that everyone have the right amount of food to eat as much as they need, uh, that people's needs are met, that they have access to health care, that they have access to education, um, that these social goods be provided to people as the base and the bedrock of society and not confuse that with, uh, you know, the occasional measures of, of you know, a, a system that's in crisis and flailing for legitimacy and trying to save itself, um, you know, before people push it off the stage. Yeah, go ahead, Gloria. Yeah, I think uh, what, what has to be understood that is if people are not able to retain their apartments and their homes through the idea of the cancellation, just stopping the whole process of this theft called rent and uh, the mortgages to the banks, then what will take place at the end of this crisis, uh, which is a, is a capitalist crisis, it was already starting before the coronavirus hit in, in real estate and the oil production, is that the wealth will be even more concentrated. For example, because of the housing crisis that started the whole recession in 2008, what ended up happening was that the banks, again, got rescued to the tune of several hundred billion dollars, and they proceeded to uh, repossess homes, uh, at least five million. And what arose out of that was that over, uh, by 2016, 95% of all the distressed mortgages on Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae housing um, were taken over, and private equity firms then formed that had not existed before to buy up hundreds of thousands of single family homes in the country. So just in uh, not only real estate, but many other industries, the rich will get much, much richer and the rest of us will become ruined uh, and, and more subject even to the onerous demands of landlords. So I think that's just one element of it. It has to be a reality. And I think it's going to be given the depth of this crisis. <laughs> 